Hi there, and welcome back to Overbooked. It's Amanda, and I'm here to talk to you about all the books that I read in the month of June. The first book I read was Why I'm No Longer Talking to White People About Race by Renny Edu Lodge. And I thought this was a really good book and really insightful. It's based off her essays that she wrote um, in 2014. And it pretty much just talks about how um, you know, people of color just have enormous struggle talking to white people about race and um, that she's not trying to like make this giant solution. She's just trying to um, explain how people feel and what they're going through. And the most that, that I got really out of it was just to make sure that I am listening and participating in events where people of color are um, organizing and seeking justice and to be an ally but an ally that assists and um, listens instead of talks over. So I just thought it was really insightful and I really enjoyed um, reading it. So the next book that I read uh, for June was Gone Girl by Gillian Flynn and shit you guys this book was sick. I know this book came out like six years ago and I am late to the game but Oh my god, I didn't see any of these twists coming. I thought I was reading a, a regular, like, um, husband's wife kidnapped, blah, blah, blah story, but this was intense. I got in, into this book so much that, like, as I was turning the final page, like, I was turning it, like, thinking I was gonna keep reading. Like, I wanted more. Um, I didn't really like how it ended. Like, I thought there should have been, like, more justice, more, like, one last twist to really, like, finish the story. I don't know what this signifies. I don't know, but like I wanted to, I don't know how to say exactly what I feel right now, but I wanted more Gillian Flynn. I wanted one last taste. It was really good. I definitely suggest it. Um, I would definitely add it to my rainy day suggestion book because as I was reading it, I wanted there to be like a huge thunderstorm outside because that's how my emotions were inside. Okay, next. Thank you, next. So I read Tiny Beautiful Things, Advice on Love and Life from Dear Sugar by Cheryl Strayed. Cheryl Strayed is the author of the memoir Wild, which I really enjoyed. So this is just a book of her collection of her advice columns from when she was uh, Dear Sugar. And I thought some of these were really cool to read. They were interesting. I don't know if I really liked reading, how many pages is this? 304 pages of advice. So, I was like, I have this really big problem where if I start a book, I have to finish it, which I'm really trying to break. I don't want to waste my time on mediocre books. And I don't want to say this is a mediocre book, but I just don't think that it should have been 300 pages. I think it would have been fine with like a hundred less. So, but I thought it was really cool and insightful advice that I think a lot of us could relate to. So I thought that was nice and I read it by my pool a lot. So... So I've been trying to sneak in some audiobooks into these months because I just have so much, I have eight hours a day at my work and um, I try to listen to a lot of podcasts, but I'm trying to sneak in some audiobooks. And this month I tried listening to I Am Malala, the story of a girl who stood up for education when was shot by the Taliban. And when I say I tried, I'm not trying to say that this was a horrible book or anything by those means. I am just terrible at audiobooks, I've discovered. Like, I would be listening to this inspiring, inspiring girl talk about her life and I would just be, like, dazing off. Like, I just, I feel like I am terrible at audiobooks and I don't know if it's the narrator or that I just, like, drift off too much, but... Um, maybe I just haven't found the right audiobook to really launch into it. But the clip, the things that I did hear were definitely inspirational. I think we all know the story of Malala, who was literally shot by the Taliban just trying to get an education. And um, I think it's just a message to girls and boys around the world that you can't take your education for granted and you should do everything you can to... Um, further yourself with all your opportunities and privilege and also assist others who don't have those things. Um, she's a very inspiring woman. I'm sorry that I didn't pay attention to the, your whole audiobook. I think I would really like to 
check out this book from the library and actually read it and I think I would get more out of it and it would be a little bit more impactful just for me. Okay, so I also read Less by Andrew Sean Greer and I read this for one, my girly book club that I do every month that is, and this is the book for July, and I also read it because it's been on my TBR and it, it was, it is, was, because this is the last day of June, I think, right now, and but you will be watching this in July. It was Pride Month in June, so I was, um, really wanted to make sure I read it that, um, in June. And it is about a man um, called Arthur Less, and he gets an invitation to the wedding of his ex boyfriend and he is essentially devastated but doesn't say so and he decides that he's just going to accept all these literary events that he's been invited to and they're all around the world to so get to watch him travel all over the place and getting into adventures and mishaps and while also dealing with his feelings of um missing out on this love of his and I thought it was just a really fun um read i thought it was a perfect like summer read um it was very short the chapters were all broken up into the different country season and i really really enjoyed that and i just thought it was a really good wholesome book so i definitely recommend another book that i read for uh pride month was tinderbox the untold story of the upstairs lounge fire in the rise of gay liberation by robert fesler and I found this book through the Stacks podcast that I listened to and I've kind of mentioned it before. And I talk about it more in my book review that I did for this book, which I can link below. Essentially, it's the story of the upstairs fire, upstairs lounge fire that took place in 1973 to a gay bar and killed 32 people. And it was the largest mass killing of gay people until the Pulse nightclub shooting. And it um, just kind of shook New Orleans up, but not entirely as it should have. And it was just a very, uh, tragic event and it was really hard to read at times, but I think again, very important to learn about and read about. So the next book I read was Pachinko by Min Jin Lee. And this book was amazing. It was 496 pages, you guys, 400. 96 pages over almost a, around 500 and I read this this baby in like four days I loved this book I read this for the reading women uh, challenge prompt a uh, multi-generational story and it did not disappoint I know I'm a little late to the game with this book as well I don't know when did this book come out 2017 I really 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 love this book it just shows the struggle of a family and how that struggle continues throughout the generations and it was just so beautiful it's about a family who is immigrated from korea to japan and all the discrimination they face there from the japanese and then the discrimination that they would face if they went back to korea from koreans because they've been living in japan and it's just um this wonderful beautiful story with all these generations stories interweaving together and i loved it i can't recommend this book anymore june was honestly the, like one of the best reading months i've had in a while and i topped it off with the book bear town by frederick bachman and i've read his book a man called av and that one was amazing and it made me cry and so did bear town bear town was extraordinary i when i did my um june tbr video i didn't really know much about what this book was about but this book is about a small town and all they have is hockey and it's just it's like their thing it's their culture like this town's thing is hockey everyone loves hockey everybody watches hockey everyone talks hockey and they have a junior team that's finally gonna make it to the hockey championships. And if this team wins, they can get a hockey stadium in town, which will bring more people to the town, which could bring maybe a shopping center, could bring back jobs, maybe another um, grocery store, just all these opportunities stemming from hockey. And the pressure that mounts on these boys' shoulders is just immense. And you have all these stories of these boys and like their hockey struggles and their personal struggles. And then you have all the other characters in between. 
and then a tragic event happens to a young girl and the town has to decide between and between I'm trying to decide because I just like thought of this quote from one of the the character there's a bartender and she's like you think that we're choosing right from wrong but really we're just choosing good from evil and but they have to choose the side they have to, or they have, to, they have to choose this girl or hockey and it was just amazing to read and it was oh, so good he just blows me out of the water like this this is just it was so good um tearjerker for sure okay so i read seven books in the month of june plus i'm not really gonna count i am malala because i feel like i didn't really read the whole thing but so seven and a half maybe so i'm really impressed with myself because damn that's a lot of books i don't know how i did it and i have a huge tbr list for the month of july so my to be read july video should be coming out next week and um i'm gonna get back to reading right now in the comments below please let me know what you guys are reading what you read for june what you're looking forward to reading this summer and anything else that you feel like commenting below uh, make sure to subscribe i come up with videos every week and thanks for stopping by